If you're a parent, my guess is you've thought about what it's going to be like when your child leaves home one day. And if you're like me, I bet that thought was immediately followed by a hundred more, like, what kind of person will he become? And have I been a good enough parent? Or have I just been the inspiration for his future therapy? I mean, if we were ever given an owner's manual with instructions on how to raise kids, that would make it so much easier. Instead, it feels more like you stumbled into advanced neuroscience when you thought you'd signed up for home ec. Uh, let's face it, raising kids in today's crazy culture is a very difficult challenge. You start off with the best intentions, but at some point you realize you're just duct taping each day to the next, hoping everything will stick together long enough to keep them alive until they leave home. Yet deep down we wonder, is this really the best we have to offer our kids? Let me be honest with you. I'm not a parenting expert. I used to be an expert and then I had my own kids. But in addition to being a parent, I've spent the last 30 years working with thousands of kids as my career. And during that time, I've learned a few things that I'd like to share with you during this series things that I believe can help you understand what your kids need if they're going to grow into mature, healthy adults. The adults that you want them to be on that day when you're standing on the front porch watching them drive away. When do you think we'll see her again? Four years. Maybe two with good behavior. I talked to so many parents who desire to help their kids thrive and be successful, but they're fearful. They're fearful because time is moving so fast and the years seem to be slipping away and they just don't have a plan. They don't have a plan to raise their kids with a sense of confidence. And without a plan, it's no wonder that most parents default to what I call quick fix parenting. See, when you don't have a plan and you're already busy and stressed, it's just so much easier to focus on the immediate problems and not deal with the deeper, more important issues that have long-term benefit. And unfortunately, parents who rely on quick fixes will inevitably find themselves slowing down to face disasters. But please hear this. I don't care whether you've got toddlers or tweens or teens, it's never too late to change whatever trajectory your kids are on and to start learning how to give them what they need. You know how I know? And you're not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but you, as a parent, are still the single greatest influence in your child's life. All research points to this truth. Your actions and your values and your beliefs will do more to determine who your kid becomes than anything else. <laughs> how's, how's that for pressure? The only time that today's crazy culture has more influence than you is when you check out. So if you default on your parenting responsibility, culture will be more than happy to step in and take over. The truth is, is that kids want their parents to be their hero. They really do. I mean, granted, it's a laundry cleaning, dinner cooking, ride giving, money available hero, but still, they want to learn from you, to watch you do what you do, and to talk like you talk, and believe what you believe. That is a huge advantage that you have over the influence of media, friends, and that one wild kid with the tattoos and body piercings who is about to go into third grade. Basically, think about it like this. Your life is being bugged. You're being wired. You are under surveillance 24 seven. You are at great risk of identity theft, but that's good news. That should give you hope. Because while I can't tell you how to change your kids, I can tell you how to change yourself so that they'll steal the best of your identity, not the worst. You know, it's so easy when you're a parent to focus on the quick fix of behavior modification and say things like, don't do that, stop talking like that, quit acting like your mother. We do that because we don't have the time or we don't know how to fix the underlying issues. So instead, we just worry about fixing their behavior. What I've realized is that if my kids are actually observing me, then good behavior has to start here. Your kids are watching everything. How you talk to one another, how you treat people, what you do with your finances, how much alcohol you drink, if your faith is sincere. They're also watching your integrity. Hello, what can I get for you guys tonight? Now, kids eat free on Tuesday, right? As long as she's under eight. Are you under eight, sweetie? 
perfect. She'll have the kids' meal. Okay. Let me give you a little advice. When you blow it, and you will blow it, just apologize to your kids. Your kids know you're not perfect, but you know what they love for you to do? Every once in a while, admit it when you're wrong. Why should you do that? Because integrity is something you want them to steal. Sweetheart, I was wrong to lie to the waitress about your age, and so when she comes back, I'm gonna have her charge us for that meal. The Bible says that children are a gift from the Lord, that they are a reward from Him. How happy is the parent whose quiver is full of them? My hope is that you would believe that's true and that you wouldn't underestimate the value of your parenting. Let me say it again. If you don't believe that your role is vital as a parent, if you don't view yourself as the greatest influence in your kids' lives, then you're missing it. And your kids will miss what only you have to offer them. I promise you, you will become a more confident parent because of the tools that I'm giving you in this series. As a parent, if you don't embrace a plan, before you know it, you'll end up as nothing more than a shift manager, your own bed and breakfast. Girls, dinner's at six o'clock. Check the agenda. Socializing back down here at eight. Your kids are created to crave your influence in their lives. Believing that truth and living it as if it were true is so important. Use that craving to your advantage instead of forfeiting your role and allowing our crazy culture to replace you as a parent. Hey, I'm coming to get the rent. <laughs>